I'm Clarence Chikusu. I am one of the consultant physicians at St. Peter's Hospital. Welcome to this day today, which is a unique day in the world of uh, SAMS. The first time we've opened up a study day to uh, our colleagues for the rest of the trust. We've had two events uh, over the past couple of years of similar nature where as a department we have uh, undertaken a study day to improve our learning and collaboration within our department. Such was the success of this that we decided that it would be wonderful to open this up to our colleagues around the trust and that's exactly what we did today. In keeping with the trust strategy about continuing education and learning from lessons it makes complete sense that the focus of our multidisciplinary team approach to patient care continues, but also that we can learn from one another. Collaborative working is everything that we're about, and in a setting like this where we can have colleagues from other parts of the hospital come and listen to subject matter experts and learn about the latest in things to do with dementia management, delirium management, frailty and sarcopenia, uh, I think offers for a very wonderful day. So we're hoping that everyone will have a very useful time here, take a lot from the day to be able to uh, improve what they do on their own areas and actually apply some of the lessons that will enhance how we deliver the service across the board. Hello, my name is Angel, I'm the deputy sister in Hollywood. In this SAMS conference basically it's all about us, about us working together as a part of the multidisciplinary team and also uh, collaborating, working together and making our patients safe with obviously updates about frailty which is rather important in our department. This year we kind of make it for the whole trust and I'm really surprised and happy that it was a good turn up. We got people from the community, uh, we got matrons, we got therapists. It's quite important that everybody knows which people, what people that are looking after our patients and working together as one. Thank you. My name's Sarah Hill and I'm the name nurse for adult safeguarding here at the Trust. And this morning I'm here to talk about mental capacity and how to carry out a mental capacity assessment. Mental capacity is really important in our work because when we have patients who cannot make decisions for themselves, someone will need to make decisions for them. And the Mental Capacity Act is the framework that sets out how and who these decisions are made. It's particularly important for the elderly client group as many of them have cognitive impairment or learning disabilities and then do not have capacity to make their own decisions. This morning's session is called Demystifying the Mental Capacity Act because I believe there is a lot of fear around carrying out mental capacity assessments and there really doesn't need to be and there really shouldn't be. So I'd like to say thank you very much to um, Angel, Asma and Clarence for arranging another year of our SAMS training day, but this time it's been extended to the hospital. I think this is quite important as the whole hospital is now becoming much more in need of understanding how to look after and care for patients who are getting older and the particular issues with regard to older people. So I was pleased that actually a lot of people here are not people that normally work on care of the elderly wards and therefore have a bit of an understanding they can take back with them and tell their colleagues about as to how we tailor care to this older population. Um, I today spoke about What Matters to You, which is a project I've recently undertaken, which tries to get us to look at what is important to our patients, our relatives and our staff, so we can individualise the care we give those people, make it a more personalised experience and hopefully treat them with respect to what it is that their issues are. Also to make sure that staff members understand how we can work together as a team more effectively and help resolve some of the issues with staffing and the pressures we're under by working together and getting back a bit more of the joy we have in work and why we've taken these jobs in the first place. I hope that by presenting the What Matters to You that some people will take this ethos forward onto their wards and we can get back why we became into these professions in the first place and what we can do to truly look after people in the way that they want to be looked after. I also wanted to thank Claire Smith who um, gave the talk to me today um, from the Palter Care Consultants. She has explained how we're going on this journey together with caring of the older population, but also looking at dying and how we're going to do that better and more individualised on the wards. We're looking at new tools in which we can recognise dying and try and make it less of a taboo subject. Also within the hospital, how we recognise this and how we alert other professionals to try and help tailor their needs at that time and best prepare them for the future. Hello, I'm Dr Josie Jenkinson. I'm a consultant psychiatrist for older people. 
The delirium is such an important issue for acute hospitals and part of my job is to help support Ashford and St Peter's hospitals with management of complicated cases of delirium so that we can really improve care for patients and their relatives and part of coming here today is to educate everybody about how important delirium is, how we can detect it, how we can prevent it and how we can manage it. Hello, um, my name is Harriet Barker. I'm um, on a six months secondment into medicine as a matron, um, previously having worked in the inpatient pain service for a really long time. I was invited today to talk about team building, uh, values and behaviours, and so I spent a bit of time talking about what makes a team, how we're all different, but how despite those differences, we need to work together for a common goal, and that um, values such as respect and kindness um, can go from um, ourselves to our colleagues and ultimately to improve patient care. We've been able to listen to some amazing speakers today and share a number of experiences um, that have transcended right across uh, the whole of the MDT ethos and uh, right across the trust. From the beginning where we heard about matters to do with mental capacity, going on to talking about frailty and the new concept of sarcopenia, which was then sort of followed up by some wonderful talks on what matters to me has a major impact on what we do in our hospital and how use of palliative care medicine and best supportive care also transcends into this. It was quite clear that actually some of these topics that traditionally would have been thought of as issues to do with managing senior adults in general medical wards actually were a problem for everybody things to face like delirium and dementia right across the trust in emergency departments, surgical wards and in other aspects in the community as well. And it was very useful to have members from the community here to share their experiences as well. In the afternoon, we were able to look a bit deeper into things by talking about how teamwork applies to the way we practice during our working lives and actually how the interaction between individuals with different types of personality can actually enrich the environment with which you work in and I think that actually pulls together everything that we're aiming to achieve when we're talking about multidisciplinary team working and collaborative thinking as well. So I've had a really wonderful experience with this. It's been a joy to see how everybody was interacting amazingly together. New ideas, innovation in times that are actually quite stressful. So I think the only way now is, is upwards. It's been a fantastic day. Thank you.